Hello there, and welcome to Slim Pain Gaming, hosted by Recon Specials TV. I'm Patrick Patrick. And I'm Padre. And today we are going to be covering yesterday's stream from AMG, their mini stravaganza, strictly their X Wing segment. Uh, they spoke for almost an hour about what's going to be coming down the pipe for the next basically two years. Uh, we're going to basically compact it for you as fast as possible so that you understand where the game is going and also get rid of anything, that, uh, rumors that people have started to maybe you know, sway your opinion on what has happened over the past couple of hours. Uh, I mean, first impressions, I'm, I'm loving this. AMG's taking aggressive and really good steps for the game. Uh, and I can't wait to explain or at least, you know, show you guys what has happened. So what do you think, Robert? What was your first impression? I was pleased. I was so pleased. I was happy. I had renewed interest in the game. Awesome. All right. So let's get started. Uh, immediately, this was like one of the things that they dropped that people could not believe. Uh, no more bids so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah your 200 points is your 200 points use them as you will any points you don't use is immediately going to go towards your opponent towards scoring uh and that's basically it I, it's going to be a 200 point game fully uh as yeah. far as initiative so, i'll think twice before you take that you know 170 point list <laughs> because exactly. I don't mind getting 30 extra points. Yeah, so I, their explanation was the bids were not really good because they tried multiple different systems. They could not find anything that would make the bid balanced. So they're saying no more bids, which will allow for your ship that you have as an ace to take those upgrades that you are cutting and make it a little bit better. Uh, one rumor I'm going to squash where aces are dead um, if you're going they're to have, not. they're not, if you're going to debate that it's because if an ACE goes up against another ACE, if you have an I six versus a bunch of I fours, then your bid wouldn't matter. You'd still be moving after and getting all of your actions. It's only when you're facing an I five versus an I five or I six versus an I six. So this might change what we know as the meta or what is, you know, key for your list, but Aces are not dead. They're going to work just fine. You're just going to have to find a different way to use them. So, to simplify it, bids, gone, no more, kaput. Yep, moving bids are on. gone. Uh, moving on. This is a to huge another big one. one. Ban lists. Huge. They are going to be issuing bans for certain cards. These are just examples that I threw up there because they're the obvious uh, examples. Bans and restricted. So, <laughs> let's see. Uh, thumbs up. Exact thumbs up cards that you know that are not good for the game. Um, ex the example that I just gave these two in Snare and Supernatural Reflexes, they've just you know they weren't really uh, I would say positive. Their interactions were really uh, powerful, so they added so many points to them that you could argue that they're no longer competitive. Um, so instead of doing that. They just started a ban list, uh, and they're going to be issuing those over the next few years, uh, letting us know which ones are acceptable and not acceptable for tournament level of play. So I think that's a positive step. What do you think? I think so, too. I think our next item is even more acceptable to the, me. Oh, yeah, because and we'll, we'll maybe go over this. Uh, I use Robert, ready player one. So yeah. <laughs> basically, That's me right there. Um, <laughs> so during the stream, it was a little conflict of how they described it, and I've reached out to AMG to clarify it. I'm sure they're going to clarify it with the fact. Um, they didn't issue that, and also uh, Robert might know better the schedule for the points because they didn't discuss those either. The, the, the points will be coming out at the end of this month. Exactly. So they're going to delay it because they really wanted to fine-tune them. They didn't want to just drop them and mess things up now that they're changing everything so greatly. Um, so how are they going to be deciding player one, Robert? Uh, they're, they haven't specified a way, but it's probably going to be a dice roll. Exactly. So there was a drop that they did recently uh, with the bounty hunt. Uh, scenario to where each player rolls three dice. Whoever gets more crits goes first. If not, then it goes to eyeballs, then hits. That mm -hmm. might be what we're expecting. Um, and this I, would not be the first game that does that. There are several war games, several games that you and I play that yes. 
you decide who goes first, who goes second every round. And if that is the case with FFG, I am going to well, be AMG. so or AMG. pardon me, AMG. I am going to be so stinking happy. Exactly. So one dev said it will be every round, or at least hinted to that. Yeah. And then the actual <laughs> head developer, uh, Mr. Plummer, he said player one will be decided on a single or at the start of the game. So I'm assuming that's the route they're going to go. Both players will show up. Doesn't matter how many points there are in their list. Both of them roll off to see who is player one. And then that's it. They are player one the rest of the game, uh, which would add a nice random effect. So it might make you completely build your list differently instead of just assuming that you're going to get the initiative bid or be player one or two right. deciding on who you toss it to. Um, right. Like a quick thing. I would love it if all of a sudden there were cards that helped you with deciding player one like you know a card that lets you roll an extra die or a scenario such as that that lets one player roll over another more dice right. um but i mean that that'll come down the pipe we'll we'll get to that in the future all right so here's a little boy playing soccer with bba if you're confused at all about that um that is because amg announced basically kick the can, kick the can or x-wing soccer it's going to be called the droid you're looking for, um, basically you're going to get a certain type of weapon on your ship. You can then shoot the droid to move it every turn because it's going to be a nice little uh, marker. It's going to move with maneuver dials and you're trying to push it or pull it in certain directions to get it in a, either a scoring position or to your side of the table uh, and score points much like soccer. And that's how they described it. It's going to be X-Wing soccer. Yeah. Um, yep. Blood Bowl meets X-Wing. Blood Bowl, exactly. Because you can still shoot your opponent and destroy them. They just come back on to the field, uh, you know, the next turn. Which, I'm not going to lie, this is like Rocket League with Blood Bowl and soccer. Yeah. It's like, it's one of those games, everyone can show up with a ship, or you can just play against each other, and then just play it out much like your Aces High. Which, they're coming out with Aces High. Um, I'll skip over to that one. We'll go over to here. So this is just one of the examples that they gave. As you can see, this is a quick build. It's the Sakura without maneuver, extreme maneuvers, afterburners, and R2-D2. This is going to be a bigger card. It doesn't require the card's uh, upgrades because it's already explained on the card. Uh, ignore the bullseye and the actual firing arc. They're, they're flip-flops, but hey, it wouldn't be an AMG stream without a typo. Um, it right. makes me feel like home. <laughs> so... They're yeah. going, and they said it, they're going to be packs of cards. Yes. Yes, they did say that. Packs. And we'll packs. go over that in the next video because they did leak a bunch of pilots and stuff like that. So they're right. going to be card packs. Uh, and you're going to be able to play Aces High with four people, which, again, that's great for new players. That's great mm -hmm. for a quick, you know, tournament or open game night that you guys can have because you don't have to stick with the same situations and scenarios. AMG is going to be putting them out there for us to enjoy and play and use our ships in ways that we're not used to and give us a break from 206, which I think has been missing from X-Wing for years because uh, we've said it multiple times. All Talking right. about points real quick. Oh, yes, points. Go ahead. We're, since we're going to be going to PDF only. Yes. So No the, more. Go ahead. You, you tell them. Bye. So long. If it is aid, because you know what? They're smart enough to realize, hey, here's the list of points. You other developers out there who are doing this stuff because you love the game, you're doing it better than what we could have it subcontracted out for. Yeah, right now, my I haven't used the app in so long. It's it, it uninstalled itself, so I'm installing it again. But Mine the, too. The X-Wing List Builder app is no more. Gone. Uh, they're going to get rid of it because the, the upkeep is ridiculous. I'm sure it's extremely expensive, um, and they're just going to go to a PDF format, which I think is better anyways because uh, – to correct a typo in that takes five seconds. To do it in the the website, you either if you call your developer, I'm not going to get into it, but um, yeah, it last, takes a long time. Exactly. Last but not least, if you hadn't no, noticed no, we already, have to talk about something else. What, oh, what do you need to talk about? How long does the game last, Patrick? Well, okay, hold on. We'll go. We will. That's the last thing we're going to cover because that's huge news. Oh, okay. Um, 
campaigns, scenarios, and objectives. This is a picture of Hotak. If you're not familiar with it, it's a fan-made uh, game that, you know, uh, it's been handed into second edition by Sean Tiernan. It was created by another gentleman from first edition, but AMG announced they are going to be making campaign missions. They're going to be making solos. They're going to be making objectives for competitive play. They're going to be moving into a direction that we are not used to unless you've already done stuff like this. Um, even Robert and I, we're, we're developing uh, you know, the first edition missions that used to come in your core set from first edition and converting yeah. to second edition, but it looks like AMG is jumping on that train as well. Patrick, um, this is going to be fantastic for the oh game. My, I guarantee be, you. This will be absolutely fantastic. It's like they watch the stream. They know. They know exactly what was yeah. what should have been done. Um, and then last but not least, uh, it is, as Robert said, go ahead and tell them. Goodbye clock. No, no, don't do that. Tell them no. the 12 rounds no. thing. 12 rounds. Period. Exclamation point. The game is 12 rounds. Okay, so this is one of those things that I definitely want to clear up because I watched it about seven times. He's the the lead developer, uh, or not the lead developer, the, the stream gentleman. Uh, he said 12 rounds is going to be for a basic game. So when they played the game, the games would go extremely long. No one would kill each other, and it would just it could technically go on forever. That's what they experienced when they play it. We know that there's a 75-minute round cap in tournament play. He said basic. So I'm assuming when somebody buys the set, they're going to play, and it will say basic games go for 12 rounds. That way, two new players don't just sit there and fly around the board forever, spend two and a half hours not doing anything, and then get bored with the game. This will tell a new player it's supposed to end at some point regardless, and then it goes to points. It needs to end. <laughs> yeah, there is going to be variance with that. Sometimes it'll go nine rounds. It could go 15. It could change. This did not explain tournament play. They didn't really cover tournaments at all. So I would assume that maybe tournaments could be a 12-round limit, but also the 75-minute cap. So if you went to 12 rounds before 75 minutes, your game ends. And if you all of a sudden only went nine turns and hit 75 minutes, the game ends anyways. This will be explained over the years to come. Um, yeah. <laughs> they're not going to be at Gen Con, so there's really there's no OP. Worlds, again, is so far yeah, so on the back burner. Will. You were right. They will not be at Gen Con, but they did say categorically they will be at Adepticon yes. in Chicago, and I believe that's in March of 22. Yes. So 2022 is their aim. Of course, COVID is really screwing with things. They, they went over shipping. That's boggled. They went over production. That's also you know, screwed up. They're not the only ones. This is not new. It's been happening for the last year and a half. Yeah, they are not the only game company that is suffering from this. Other game companies yeah. uh, insert any business here. Exactly. So, th so that was it. That was the bullet points they covered. Uh, we're going to cover now the ships uh, in another episode. So, you know, leave your wanna, comment below. Are we going to do future of the game in another video then? Ooh, what's future of the game? You go over that. Okay. So they also stated that they want this game to be more tactical and strategy based. I don't know if you recall that part. Well, that would go into the scenarios in the campaign modes. <laughs> yes, but they also <laughs> talked about OP and wanting to do these things in the organized play as well. Yes. So instead of, you know, your your typical joust joust <laughs> Okay, I want to joust you, but I also got to go pick that thing up over there. Yeah, and if I get that before you, it, so there you get your 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 strategy and your 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 tactical as yep. well as your your jousting ability. Yeah, um, they do want they the two hundred six as well for right. tournament play. So don't worry they, if you have a, a, you know a favorite. They're going to be there in the future. They're just expanding in different directions to give us more of what we want. Right. Uh, they wanted to. They also hit on reprints of one point oh ships. Yes. And what they they said is, you know, it's going to take us a while, maybe 23. Yeah. So no gunboats. I would not be surprised if we see it in bombers. 24 mm -hmm. uh, for, for the simple reason. If they're going to do the reprint, a brand new ship, 
can take up to 24 months. And that's from concept to hitting your shelves. Exactly. And while they're trying to put out new ships as well and, you know, right. construction and un assembly and then shipping is all delayed. So, of course, that's going to be delayed as well. So we wanted to, to get that out there. They they did address it. Uh, so, you know, but yeah, we got new stuff coming out. So make sure you watch our next video because you're going to want to know about the ships. So, I mean, a lot of stuff's going to be coming out. I mean, so far, what I've seen, and I'm in a lot of different uh, forums and all that, positive. Everyone is saying this is a positive change, and I agree wholeheartedly. Let us know below. Like the video. You know, leave a, a message saying, I can't wait for this. I'm excited for this. You know, I'm, I'm weary about this. That's fine. You know, I'm sure uh, people from AMG see this, so they're definitely going to want to hear your feedback, and this is one way to do it. All so, right. So talk it out. And if you can't talk it out, just hug it out. Exactly. Hug it out. All right, everyone. Have a good one. Game casual. See ya. Later.